So if you're not sure what Kamoot is, it's basically a route planning app which lets you create and share different routes which you might use for cycling, trekking, hiking, things like that. Now I've actually made a video about how to use Kamoot in the past which I'll link down below. So previously to get the routes onto your Garmin or your Wahoo or whatever device you wanted to use, it was a bit of a faff. You used to have to create the route in your particular mapping software. So today we'll talk about Kamoot, but you could be riding with GPS, could be Strava or Garmin or anything like that. You'd have to then export it as a GPX file. Then you have to copy it over to the head unit, then put your head unit back onto the bike so you can actually use it for turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Now for a feature I've just discovered, you can actually sync your Kamoot account to your Garmin head unit so it'll automatically download any routes that you create on the Kamoot app or on the computer so you don't have to worry about transferring files over anymore. So what you'll need for that is a mobile phone, your Garmin head unit, it needs to be compatible with Connect IQ apps and you can use a computer if you want to, but it's not essential. For this I'll be using my Garmin Edge 520 head unit and just an iPhone. First of all you need to make sure that the head unit is connected to your phone. So you can go into the Garmin Connect app and you can check this connected, you just go more at the bottom and then you find Garmin devices you can see that my Edge 520 is connected. If you hadn't connected your device before you can just click uh, add device at the bottom and then go through the process. You'll then need to download the Kamoot app onto the Garmin head unit. To do that you just go to the Connect IQ store and then you can search for Kamoot at the top. brings up the app there, just select and then click download and that will download onto your Garmin device. Once that's downloaded we'll then need to go over to the screen on your Garmin device. So now you'll need to open up the Kamoot app on the Garmin device, so it might be slightly different depending on what device you've got, but you basically go to menu, go down to the Connect IQ, select You'll see the Kamoot app there if you select that and it will give you a code. So basically what you need to do is go to that website, so kamoot.com forward slash connect. You need to enter that code into your device, into the website and then it will open up the app for you actually on the Garmin device. So let's do that now. So just go to the Kamoot website, make sure you're logged into your account. Click connect now. Yep, that's my account. And then you just enter the code in. Click Grant Access. So then you'll see that, that automatically changes. And there you go, you have access to your account now on your Garmin device. So you can see here, these are the routes that I've made previously. So if you just select a route, load, so you can see a little map there, then you can arrow down, you can see information on the sort of elevation profile, the technical difficulty, see what sort of roads, sort of surfaces you'll be riding on. And then to ride on that, you just go up, select start, select whichever ride profile you want to use. So I'm using my Propel today. Wait for that to ride. Then you just click Ride. Navigate to the start, so yes. And you've got your map there ready to go. So that's how you get your commute routes onto your Garmin device. Now whenever you create a new route on the commute website or on the app on your phone, it'll automatically appear on your Garmin. So I hope you enjoyed that and got something from it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.